G'day guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new R3 from Canon mirrorless camera. This has been rumored for a while, so we're gonna be talking all about the specs and just discussing the actual camera. Now look, I have a lot of Canon cameras. This is an APS-C sized camera that uses an EFS lens mount. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the different Canon cameras that are out there, as well as of course, this baby right here. If that sounds fun to you, we make videos every single day on this channel. Channel two, but of course we do have channel one. So feel free to do the thing, all right? Now, okay, so going to of course the different kind of Canon cameras. There are, there are different versions other than the ones I'll be showing you, but we will just be showing you these ones, right? The three main ones, I guess you could say. The Canon EFS lens mount are, of course, for Canon cameras like, like the 90D, all right? Which basically uses APS-C. Then, of course, we've got the Canon EF lens mount, which is mainly used for full-frame cameras, such as the EOS 1D X Mark III, Mark II, Mark I kind of thing. And then, of course, we've got the brand new Canon situation with the Canon RF lens mount. These are the mirrorless bad boys, okay? This is what you want if you want to future-proof your stock. And, of course, that will go for the R5, for example, okay? So now, going to Canon's new mirrorless camera from Canon themselves. This is the website. Uh, we've got kind of an interactive website here where we can drag and drop the mouse on any one of these things and it will tell us, you know, whatever. So I guess we'll start from the start. We'll go to the very, very top and read a little bit about this thing right now. All right. Uh, the EOS R3 features a new advanced, it went away, uh, ex oh, went away again, accessory shoe, uh, which provides data communication and power for its new accessories when attached to the camera. So, God, that website's really touchy and feely. Uh, <laughs> basically, you can put a new microphone on the top of, the, of the, the, the horseshoe, whatever it's called, and of course, it's getting power and, and communication. Sound is literally going into the camera from the top. There's no need to plug in an actual cable to the microphone kind of thing. So that is awesome. All right, now going to, I guess, here. Uh, this is an interesting one. This one gets my juices flowing. This is really cool. Uh, change focus points and start tracking a new subject with Canon's unique eye control autofocus technology. This unparalleled control allows you to quickly change focus points. Perfect for responding to, you know, to fast and ever-changing scenes. I will talk a little bit about how this works eventually. So stick around for that. Uh, tapping the screen again to go back to where we need to go. So I guess we'll go to here right now. There we go. All right, so the EOS R3 can capture oversampled, uh, excuse me, 4K or raw video footage internally to a CF, to a CFAST card, I should say. Uh, Canon Log 3 provides greater dynamic range and color grading possibilities to the serious, you know, videographers out there. This is really, really cool, okay? The same object recognition available to stills photographers is also available to videographers so you can track moving objects around the frame. This is really cool. All right, so going to maybe over here, this one, this one right now, what do you reckon? We'll do that one. All right, so the EOS R3 offers photographers a huge choice of controls with both multi-controller and smart controller falling instinctively within range of your thumb, full touch screen control, and three customizable dials. All right, next one. Maybe we'll go down here to this one right here. Let's go on it. All right, now this is something to discuss. Dual card slots allow files to be quickly written to CFast, Type B, or SD UHS 2 media. Now, in my opinion, it probably would have been a little better to have had two CFast cards in the actual camera as opposed to having uh, one SD card type of thing and one CFast. Uh, that way, if we did have two CFast cards, we could have a, a, a lot more capabilities regarding speed and storage size and, and, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I think one of Canon's thoughts regarding that was, if you go to another country and you need a new card, 
you're more likely to just be able to easily get an SD card from anywhere if you know from from, from a foreign country, for example. So, yeah, CFast may not be as 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 popular. That was one of Canon's reasons for doing this. I see what they're saying, and I see what they're trying to do. But I mean, if you're getting this kind of camera, right, you're getting it for you know, the capabilities that it has. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, going down here to this one right now. All right. For this one, I don't think I can have my head here because there's words in the way. So we'll just quickly remove that. Taking object tracking capabilities to new heights, the EOS R3 features the people and animal autofocus tracking modes, all right? Including birds found in the EOS R5 and now adds tracking of cars and motorbikes. Perfect for motorsport shooters, right? So yeah, if you're on the track and you want to get that crystal clear image of that bike or car going past, then I'm guessing you would put that feature on you'd have to turn the dial or go into the settings to do just that and hopefully it's going to do what canon says it will do actually track those fast moving car like objects it's kind of cool all right so going over to this little area right now so this is the second one we want to show you uh let's do it let's click on the sensor this is going to be interesting <sighs> remove my face for a second that looks really really pretty all right up to eight stops of protection against camera shake with image stabilization is technology this is sick i'm loving this okay now the eos r3 in body image stabilization works in tandem with the optical is built into many rf lenses letting you shoot handheld in dim light or while using long shutter speeds awesome now i may not have the money at the moment but i am actually pretty keen to start using mirrorless cameras at some point soon uh with the you know the rf mount this is going to be sick because yeah image stabilization in body as well as image stabilization in the actual lens Whew. we're talking some really good you know potential for vlogging among many other things if you wanted or needed it right <laughs> now going to this one now going to this one right here, which is another one for the sensor. Okay, so the EOS R3 is apparently built for speed, as they say. At its heart lies a brand new 24.1 megapixel back illuminated stacked CMOS sensor. That is a freaking tongue twister if you ask me. And the Digic X image processor. Now together, they allow superb quality raw files to be captured at a staggering 30 frames per second with full AF and AE tracking. Awesome, awesome. Canon, can you track this? Can you track this, Canon? Do your job. <laughs> I currently have a Canon 7D Mark II for this camera right here, but this, this one's actually a 90D. Uh, this one was also a 90D, so. I like my APS-C sized cameras, right? They're, they're a little cheaper than full frame, but they honestly get the job done. And the color, the, the, the inbuilt color that comes with the cameras, uh, the image just looks really great color-wise. I really like it. Now, going to this one right now all right wow i'm actually really liking that. that looks really really cool kind of looks like something that arnold schwarzenegger would have underneath his skin in the terminator movies right uh, exoskeleton just my interesting thought so the eos r3 is pretty much built to withstand so they claim uh the rigorous of day-to-day -day professional use now it's tough magnesium allied body is sealed to the same level as our legendary eos 1d series cameras so it can cope shooting in tough conditions day and night day and night da -da 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 day day and night day and night <laughs> does anyone actually remember that song it was actually kind of a cool song back in the day right all right so going to over here right now we'll go to the battery all right now the EOS R3 is powered by a high capacity LP E19 battery, the same as you'll find in our EOS 1DX Mark III. All right, that's awesome. If you already have the camera, you can switch over to the new mirrorless, right, without changing batteries. Now, the, this, you know, this pretty much ensures that the EOS R3 fits in right alongside your existing equipment, as we've said, and can use any spare batteries you already own, as we've said. This is really, really cool. Keeping down on e-waste and all that kind of stuff. It's awesome. Now going to this last one before we go to another web page. Let's quickly check this out. Shooting in portrait orientation with the EOS R3 is ergonomic and instinctive 
thanks to an integrated vertical grip with complete second set of controls and familiar feel. So one of my beefs with Sony's newest mirrorless cameras is that they actually don't have the built-in grip for the bottom, right? You can buy it, you can buy it and screw it in like just like just like we can with this uh, 90D pretty much, just like we can with most DSLR cameras, right? But you know, the higher you go up when it comes to uh, you know, the higher, the higher money you're splashing at Canon, right? You expect to have an actual base grip attached to the bottom of the camera. We're not going to show you any Sony cameras, but of course they look kind of like the R5, right? Without the big base on the bottom. Now, you know, the more money you're spending at a camera, in my opinion, the, I expect an actual vertical grip to be installed permanently. I want that. I just, it just feels professional, right? You can, you feel it, you know, you've got yourself a good camera, right? Uh, Sony didn't go down that path for some reason. I don't know. Was it the right decision? We're not talking about that today. But anyway. So from there, guys, just quickly going down their webpage a little. This is some more interesting things that the webpage is actually saying. Uh, we got the you know, side, top, and back view. But if we go to the next, this next page, right, uh, we've got some comparisons with three great cameras of theirs, okay? We've got the EOS R3, the EOS 1DX Mark III, and we've got the EOS R3. Five, okay, now of course this one and this one, sorry, this one and this one are both mirrorless, but this one isn't. Uh, so this is some of the differences that you're going to get between those three cameras. Now going back to here again, we've got the EOS R3 once again here, the EOS 1DX Mark III, and the EOS R5 here. So here's a, you know, here are some of the differences, right? Now look, one of my beefs, it's not a big beef, just a little beef, just a little cow. It's pretty much a veal, all right? Just <laughs> One of my little beefs, okay? Moo! <laughs> With the newer camera that we've, we're talking about, the, the R3, is that it's only 24.1 megapixels. I mean, I would have thought... I would have thought we'd get something better. But I don't actually own the EOS 1DX Mark III, but, but apparently, according to these stats, it's actually only 20 megapixels. For that big camera, it's actually 20 megapixels. So I'm guessing you're getting, you know, four megapixels more if you go the mirrorless route, which is awesome, all right? But still, when you think about the R5, right? The R5 has 45 megapixel. <whistles> but then again, it's a bit of a son of a bitch and it gets too hot if you leave it on for too long. Canon, why did you do this? Oh, man. So yeah, even the Canon R5's little brother, the R6, gets really, really hot too. Toasty. Why, Canon? Why? But yes, I'm loving the megapixels for the R5, but the... Yeah, not the best for this, but then again, it's not a big deal, right? It's not probably not a big deal. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Here are some more comparisons between uh, what you know all three do. So yeah, 6K video at 60 frames per second. Could they have done better? Could they? I, I don't know. See, the R5 does 8K at 30 frames per second. Could they have done better with the video? I'm, I'm thinking they could have. But I'm, thinking, I'm also thinking that they didn't want to step on the toes on the one that they just released a year ago, the R5 and R6, right? Interesting. Anyway, uh, 30 frames per second. Awesome as opposed to 20 and 20. So uh, we'll go into another web page in a second. All right. Now, uh, qu quickly, if you guys wanted to learn how this whole new, it's a whole new world. If you want to learn how this eye focus control works, there's a whole page for it, uh, but we will not read about that today. But it's pretty interesting, right? That's a new tech. It's a great new tech, apparently. Some of the oldies in the game may not like the tech because you're just used to using the joystick to focus to get the focusing points where you want it to be. But I mean, if you want to learn how this new eye control works, it's kind of cool. But that Canon do say on the website somewhere that it may not work for everybody. <laughs> Apparently people with glasses, eye conditions, or contact lenses, uh, the, the camera may not actually see that and, and work for your eye. Bit racist, in my opinion. It's a bit, a bit ISIS. Oh, ISIS? Jeez, that's a, I went too far with that one, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> moving on. Anyway, uh, all right, so silent shutter for stealthy shooting. Now, there was an interesting point that Frono's photo basically said in his video is that, you know, when it comes to press conferences in the future, probably that's where 
cameras will be, right? And in the past, and even still now, you know, press conferences that click, 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 right? But obviously the technology is going towards silent shooting with absolutely no noise whatsoever. And I'm guessing, and he's guessing, at some point, press conferences will be saying, yep, we only want cameras on the settings of no, no noise whatsoever. So that'll probably be a thing someday. When, we don't know, but interesting to think about, right? And there's also this, right? Uh, the world's most powerful image stabilization. So the Canon R3 boasts the same industry leading eight stops of image stabilization performance as seen on the EOS R5 and of course the R6, okay? Uh, with its you know five axis in body image stabilization. You can benefit from the most powerful image stabilization even when shooting with lenses that don't feature image stabilization. That's the great thing about having in-body stabilization. But when you get a lens with the in-body stabilization working in synchronous, in synchronous at the exact same time, beautiful, beautiful. What do you guys think about this new camera? Uh, this has been an interesting little discussion. We talked about GoPro's new 10 yesterday, so go check that out if you want. But guys, we are on two different YouTube channels, two where we make daily videos, one where we do travel films all around the world, and we're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, if you can actually see it, I don't even know, at uh, Tallboy Gareth. Uh, I've been Tall, my name is Gareth, and I will see you for tomorrow's daily video. Bye. Love yous, bye bye.